They're playing against a family who are bidding to be the kings of karaoke, the Bottomley family. And here's your host, Les Dennis. Thank you very much. Good evening and welcome to the show. Here we are with two great families hoping to win £5,000 and a choice of star prize. Either this top-of-the-range family estate... <laughs> What a car. It comes complete with a high-performance engine, airbag, ABS, remote central locking, and lots more besides. And with this car, it all comes as standard. Or a fantastic holiday for themselves and their partners for up to 12 people. Steve, where could they be going this week? Les, this week's South African Airways holiday is at the famous Sun City Resort in South Africa. A city surrounded by acres of untamed Africa. A city that never sleeps day or night. A chance to blend fantasy and absolute luxury for our lucky fortune hunters tonight. Top six answers in this first game. We asked 100 people to name something people eat with steak. Christina. Chips. Chips. Steak and chips. Top answer. Well done. You have to turn the board and you have to. Yeah, we're going for it straight away. You sure you haven't been on one of your nights out already? Hi, Michelle. Hi, Les. You're a care worker. I am a care worker, yes. I work yeah. in a residential home with the elderly. Yeah, that was quickly said as well. You're a fast talker as well, I aren't you? I am a fast talker, yeah. I got four cheap phone bills. <laughs> <laughs> cheap Keeps phone my husband happy. What happened when you break things, don't you? Oh, I'm terrible, Les. Terrible, really heavy-handed. I haven't broken a resident yet, but I broke the wardrobes. I broke the lift in work last week. I broke everything. I even broke the door handle in the hotel this morning. I got locked in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> that was so fast. I thought you were speaking Welsh then, Michelle. <laughs> you really are a fast talker. I am a fast talker. Do you have to be in your house, then? Yeah, i got to get in. got to get in. <laughs> OK, Michelle, something people eat with steak. Kiddie pie. Stink kiddie pie. <laughs> <laughs> Something people eat with steak is and kidney pie. <laughs> no, it's not the I love the answer there, Michelle. <laughs> Very well done. Very quickly said. <laughs> Natalie, I'm how yes. are you? I'm You're a, a housewife? Thanks. Yeah. And a mum? Yeah. You enjoy that? Girl, yeah, my little girl is called Josie May and she's four. Josie May and she's yeah. four. Is she watching tonight, hopefully? Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, great. Okay, Natalie, what do you think? Onions. Okay, let's hope that this doesn't repeat on you. We're going <laughs> for onions. Yes, it's answer number two, well played. <laughs> Tracy, I'm watching you after that night out on the boat there, hey? What was the outcome in the end? Well, my father taped it. He's very proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> and he watches it back and says, that's my girl. <laughs> All right, Tracy, what do you think? Something people eat with steak. Mushrooms. Let's have a look for mushrooms. It's answer number three, well played. <laughs> Carolyn, you like to have a New Year challenge every year, don't you? Yes, we do. <laughs> and what is it? What's your New Year challenge? Get a lift home in a police car. <laughs> <laughs> what are they like, the these girls? You like to get a, a lift home in a police car? Without breaking the law. Without breaking the law. <laughs> yeah. And have you managed to do it? Yes, every, every year. year. Blue and lights flashing. And we've always managed it. You've always managed it. Let's see if you can manage this. Something people eat with steak. Salad. Salad. Yes. <laughs> number six and three people send it. And that wins you a prize as well, Steve. Yes, so now you can give your husband Ken the night off. You've just won a dishwasher. <laughs> Save you doing it. Save you wiping them. Yeah. <laughs> Christina, two answers to find, two lives left. Rice. Steak and rice. Let's have a look for steak and rice. <coughs> two lives have gone, so will the bottom leaves get a chance to steal? Michelle. Jack of potato. She said it so quickly again. <laughs> that was lovely. We've got a jack of potato. <coughs> no, we lose a life and three lives are gone. The bottom leaves get a chance to steal. Roger. Ketchup. Ketchup. Gravy. 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 Tartar, tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. That's usually with fish, isn't it, Andy? He has tartar sauce for this steak. Lindsay. New potatoes. New potatoes. Roger. Peas. Peas. What are you going to go with? I think we'll go with ketchup. OK, if ketchup is one of the missing answers, then you have the money in the bank. We're looking for ketchup to steal. <laughs> no, so the girls. You get the money because you work so hard for. The girls are in the lead, boys. <laughs> Grudge match going on here. Answer number five is... <laughs> egg. Steak and egg. Answer number four on something people eat with steak is... <laughs> mustard. OK, let's play on round two. Michelle. Top six answers in this second game. We asked 100 people to name a way of travelling long distances without an engine. Bike. Lindsay. A bike. On a bike. It's the top answer. What do you want to do? Check with your family. Yeah. Play, rejoin your family. No conferring. Now, Andy, I just, first of all, I'll just ask you about this, Lindsay. First of all, your name. Yeah. Yeah? My mum wanted a girl and my dad spelt really badly. <laughs> <laughs> You mum wanted a girl, yeah. and your dad spelt it, spelt the girl's name really badly. Oh, look. <laughs> so, do you get a lot of ribbing from your mates? No, I don't wear it. You don't, you don't wear it? <laughs> <laughs> no, 
yeah, about the karaoke family, the reason I've yeah, come to you first yeah. is because you're both into karaoke here, aren't yes, you, in a big very way? Much, very much so, And yes. you won recently, didn't you? Uh, yeah, we did a competition where we got dressed up as the person like stars in the rise and right. such. So and what did you sing? I sung Shout. Shout? Yeah, by Lulu. By Lulu? Yeah. <laughs> you're dressed up as Lulu? Oh, yes. I, I got my sister's knee eye boots on like you do. Yeah. And I come in a skirt. <laughs> Look down for oh dear, what am I doing? But, uh, a polo neck, loads and loads of kiddies beads. And I've got ginger hair already, but I've got a, a ginger bob wig. <laughs> and this, this little scarf, and I started it something like this. Well, you know you make me want to shout. Woo! Yeah, excellent. <laughs> Good week. The reason I came out to you out of order is because Andy is a follow-up to this, isn't it? Because what did you go as? Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> You don't need family fortunes, you need family therapy, you know. <laughs> All right, what do you think? A uh, sailing dinghy. A yeah. sailing dinghy. You've got a boat. <laughs> of any kind. <laughs> so you're the only one in the family who doesn't like doing the karaoke. No, I don't, know. No? No. I ate it. You ate it? Yeah. So what are you going to sing for us tonight? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Darren, what do you think? A go-kart. A go-kart. <laughs> think it, but not there. Roger, what do you think? Uh, a glider. A glider. Roger, you're off on a wonderful break to Perthshire where you can take in a round or two of golf or even spend your time pony trekking. The choice is yours. Oh, All right. Yeah, yeah, thank you. You go, pal. Yeah. Thank you. Roger. Could you repeat the question again? Yeah, a way of travelling long distances without an engine. Uh, running or walking? Running or walking. <laughs> it's there. It's over number two. Well played. <laughs> Lindsay. Gets harder, doesn't it? There's it two does. to find, two lives left. By hot air balloon. Hot air balloon. Hot air balloon. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Richard Branson wouldn't say that, I don't think. <laughs> oh, no. We're looking for hot air balloon. He's answer number five, both times. I'm crying for you as well, Steve. Yes, you've got to get your feet back on the ground because you want this top of the range set of golf clubs. <laughs> hey, go, <well>, yes. <laughs> For you. Go as Lulu and you play off the ladies' tees. That's it. <laughs> Andy. Horseback. We're looking for horseback. Good answer. Horsepower. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 hey. You get the money the bank. Well done. Give him the lead suddenly. No answer to reveal as we play round three. <laughs> Andy and Natalie. Top six answers. We asked 100 people to name another word for tight fisted. <laughs> Natalie. Skinji. Skinji. Skinji? I've never heard that one. <laughs> Skingy. <laughs> no, it isn't there. Andy. Scrooge. Scrooge. <laughs> Scrooge is there. You have control of the ball. What do you want to do? Play or pass? Yeah, yeah. Play, rejoin, no conferring. The Hewitts, think of some answers in case you get a chance to steal. Darren. Tight-fisted. <laughs> Another word for tight-fisted. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could have that, couldn't we? We could have, like, we could have two, two tight-fisted people. <laughs> you know, you're tight-fisted, or in other words, you're tight-fisted. <laughs> Do you want to give us something else? I'm only teasing you there. That was the question. I haven't got a clue. You haven't got a clue? No. no? A Yorkshireman hasn't no. got a clue about this. <laughs> there it goes. We lose the light. Roger, what do you think, mate? Stingy. Stingy. We look for skingy. Stingy. Which, I know, no, I know. Said Natalie thought stingy. It must be Welsh, that, wasn't it? A Welsh it way of saying it. Must it. Be indeed, yeah. All right, we're looking for stingy. <laughs> yes, it's there. It's answer number three. Well played. Roger. Mean. Mean. Just plain mean. <laughs> it's a answer. Well played, Roger. You get a prize as well, Steve. Well, I can smell the burnt sausages from here. You've just won the barbecue. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, Patio, put it on. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Working on that. Lindsay. I ain't got a clue, but I'll sit the council. Lindsay thinks it's Sheffield Council. <laughs> Let's see if we surveyed in Sheffield. It's <laughs> like another card here. The council, he works for them. <laughs> Not anymore, he doesn't. The council. <laughs> Two lives have gone, so the humans might get a chance to steal Andy. So you can look at the words, that, that the ones that are up there might help you. There goes the life, so the Hewitts get a chance to get back into this game. Uh, skin, Carolyn. Skin flint. Skin flint. Yeah, skin Tracy. flint. Skin flint. Miser. Miser. Thrifty. Thrifty. Michelle. Christina. Sad. 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 Somebody who's tight fisted is sad. Okay. Um, Which one are you going to go with? Go with Miser. Okay, if Miser is one of the missing, the three missing answers, you have the money in the bank. We're looking for Miser to steal. <laughs> yes, well played. <laughs> answer number two is Miser. The missing answer is number six. <laughs> is Greedy. Any ideas, our studio audience, on answer number five? Skin, 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 skin flip. Let's have a look. Number five is? 
Tight. Tight. So if you put your fist in your mouth, you would have been right there, Darren. OK, it means that the halfway stays, the bottom leaves have £100 and the Hewitts have £162. Right now, we're having a break. Join us in a couple of minutes for Double Money and Big Money. We'll see you then. <laughs> Money. Hey, Darren and Tracy. Double money. All the answers revealed were twice the price they were before the break. Top five answers. We asked 100 people to name something usually done in an anorak. Darren. You wear it. You wear it. So that's what you do. <laughs> in it. You just wear it in it. <laughs> wear it. <laughs> we're already in it. We need something to do in it. Tracy. Go fishing. Go fishing. Is answer number three. You have to resolve what you're going to do. Play rejoin, no comparing. Bottom least think of some answers. Carolyn. Go skiing. Skiing. Skiing in an anorak. OK, <laughs> it's kind of an anorak, isn't it? We've got uh, yeah. skiing, yeah. Yes, it's good. <laughs> answer number four. <laughs> Christina. Go out in the rain. Go out in the rain in an anorak. <laughs> yes. You have to walk to go out into the rain. And you get a prize as well. Steve. Christina, pop on your anorak because you're off on a super sleuth weekend to the Harrogate Hotel made famous during Agatha Christie's mysterious disappearance. Oh, brilliant. All right. Really good, Steve. Thank you. We'll leave you out in the rain there. Hi, right, Michelle. What do you think? Veronica, I'm going to shop in a minute. Go shopping. Go go. shopping. <coughs> so we lose a life. Natalie, what do you think? Train spotting. Train spotting, Natalie, yeah. Sounds like a good one to me. We're looking for a bit of train spotting. <laughs> <laughs> Top answer, well played. This answer, Tracy, you could be playing big money. No, Nothing coming? No. Two lives gone, Carolyn. Uh, can you save that life? Football match? You might go to a football match. <coughs> Three lives have gone. The bottom leaves a chance to steal. Roger. Voting. Voting. Yeah, mountain climbing. Mountain climbing, Andy. Hike, hiking. Hiking. <coughs> Working. Working. Roger. Flashing. Flashing. <laughs> So you don't have a Mac for that? I mean, it's using, <laughs> using the old Mac ocean wash. So you're kind of like a, a new, new age flasher. flasher. <laughs> Trendy flasher, hey. What are you going to go with? Flashing. <laughs> Actually, go. All right. You do realise it's big money, this. All right, to stay in the game, flashing. <laughs> this is that, so. Do it. Play big money. Roger, you kind of threw the game there, I think. Let's see what that missing answer is for you. Answer number five is... Bird watching. Kind of flashing. All right, <laughs> you're going to Sheffield with a break to purchase a set of golf clubs and a barbecue and £100. Weren't they great? And, of course, you're taking with you the Family Fortunes board game. Weren't they great? The bottom leaves. Okay. Well done. Thank you. Congratulations, Christina. Thank you. You're going to play for the car or the South African Airways holiday? Car. The car. Car. OK, who's playing? Michelle and I. Michelle and Christina, join me at the mic, please. <laughs> Hey, Christine, you're going to play first. Michelle, go and put the headset on so we can't hear any of your answers. I'm going to ask you five questions. You have 15 seconds to answer. The time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. Is that clear? Okay. Good luck. 15 seconds on the clock, please. <laughs> Name a town or city in the United Kingdom beginning with B. Bristol. A bird people often eat. Duck. Something you can do in bed. Sleep. Something you put on a horse. Saddle. A part of the body that people have pierced. Yes. OK, well played. <laughs> Well done. Quickly answered. <laughs> right, let's see how you did. First of all, I asked you to name a town in the United Kingdom beginning with the letter B. You said... Bristol, our survey said... 16 people said Bristol. It's not flashing, but it's a good answer. We're up and running. A bird people often eat. You said... Duck, our survey said... 14. Still more flashes. Apart from that lot, we've just left. But we've got 30 points. Something you can do in bed. You said... Sleep, our survey said... We're clapping. 62 points. Something that you can put on a horse. You said... A saddle, our survey said... Another splatter, 104. A part of the body that people have pierced. You said... Ears, our survey said... 151, well played. Do join your family, three top answers. We'll clear the board and we'll bring Michelle back. Welcome back, Michelle. Christina's done really well. She's got 151 and she's found three top answers, OK? So, you have to total 200 points to get the £5,000 and you have to get those missing two top answers to get the car, OK? OK. Right, 
20 seconds. If you duplicate any of the answers, you'll hear the sound. I'll ask you for another. Can we remind the viewers the time of the answers we've had? And can I have 20 seconds on the clock, please? Good luck. Okay. Name a town or city in the United Kingdom beginning with the letter B. Birmingham. A bird people often eat. Chicken. Something you can do in bed. Have make love. Something you put on a horse. Saddle. A part, another. Rider. A part of the body that people have pierced. Yes. Another. Belly button. Okay, well played, Michelle. Quickly answered. I knew you'd answer quickly. Let's see. 49 points we need for the money. And on top of that, we need our first two answers to flash okay. to get the car, okay? First question. A town in the United Kingdom beginning with the letter B. You said Birmingham. What else could it have been? Can you think of anything? Town? I suppose you could have gone for Burnham Market. It's a town. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a bit hopeless at this game. You said Birmingham. Our survey said... <laughs> Top answer! 182, we need 18. So, the last question. Well, not the last question. If, if this doesn't flash, you have to go on and see if we get the money. I'm getting excited for you. A bird people often eat. You said chicken. We need it to flash and to go through 200 for the car.